Hey, welcome back, MC Construction here today. We are going to be going over how to wire a common outlet or in the electrical field a duplex receptacle and also how to wire up a quadplex which is two duplex receptacles in case you might want to add a, another outlet in your shop or if you are uh, on the job and the plans call for a quadplex. So we'll start with the receptacle. Um, this is a blueprint symbol for a receptacle. On your receptacle you have a gold terminal and you have a silver terminal. You actually got two of each, but um, pretty simple. All you have to do is take the black wire and the black wire goes to the gold terminal and then your white wire will go to the silver terminal. Moving on to your quad, so that's the blueprint symbol for a quad. Okay, you'll have 14-2 coming in from the panel, which will be your hot and your neutral. So here we have to take two jumpers. So you'll need to cut two extra strands of wire, um, two blacks, two whites. So you'll take the black wires or your hot wires, you'll tap these together and you'll make what you call pigtails or jumpers. Um, you'll take a wire nut and you'll have one jumper going to a gold screw and then your other jumper going to your other gold screw of your other receptacle. Um, and then you'll do the same thing for the whites. You take both neutral wires You'll tap them together with two jumpers, one jumper going to one silver terminal, and then the other jumper going to the other silver terminal of the other receptacle. So as you can see, I got my hooks bent for each terminal. Um, I'm going to start with the hot wire. The hot wire will attach to the gold terminal, and just make sure you put your hooks on there clockwise, and you'll tighten that one down. Okay. Then you go to the other side. Um, as you can see, I got my white wire. It is going to go to my silver terminal here. And then, and then finally, I got my ground wire, and it is going to go to my green ground screw. So the receptacle, pretty simple here. Um, just make sure you bend your hooks where they fit around the terminals easily and it'll make life a lot easier when it's time to put them on there. So here's my quad box. Um, as you can see, I already got some jumpers made. Uh, you got your wire nut with your two jumpers coming off, and I'm gonna show you how I do that real quick with, um, with my whites. So what you wanna do is you wanna strip about three quarters of an inch of wire off each end there, okay? Then you'll take your two jumper wires and you'll do the same thing. So strip about three quarters of an inch of wire off each one. Then you'll take your lineman's pliers and you'll make a tap. Now if it's just like two wires, I'll use a wire nut. But since I got four wires right here, I'm going to use my lineman's. And it just makes life a little bit easier when you are tying these together. Also, it you know make sure that these are on here together tight. And that way you ain't got to worry about them coming off. Okay. Then you slap your wire nut on there, and you got your two jumpers ready. All right. So for your jumper wires, you'll make hooks. So strip off about three quarters of an inch of wire. Then you hook. Do the same right here. Three quarters of an inch of wire. Then you hook, and now you're ready to rock and roll. Okay. So one thing I did note: I left both my grounds long. That way I could hook them up and I wouldn't have to make any jumpers for my ground wires. And it's just like wiring up a regular receptacle. Um, the gold is for your hot wires, your black wires, and the silver is for your neutral wires. Okay, And you'll wire those up just like we wired the last receptacle. You'll do each one like that.